There are two types of EX skills, the unique and the common. The unique EX skills are specific to each character and I will not cover them here. The game sorts the common EX skills into two categories, buffs and debuffs. The buff EX skills affect you and your teammates, while the debuff EX skills affect your opponents. When using a common EX skill, the character has poise equal to their character class throughout the entire animation. The usage animation is longer for the debuff EX skills than for the buff EX skills, and the times vary slightly per character. However, all the common EX skills, except teleport, can be cancelled into everything except summoning after 60 frames. So it is enough to view it as that they have a usage animation of 60 frames, or one whole second. With the exceptions of a few EX skills, the effect happens on the first frame. Some will apply the effect in a rapidly expanding sphere, but this expands fast enough to not matter in most cases. For the EX skills with a startup before the effect, if they are interrupted, they will still enter cooldown. Any EX skill that causes bravery damage is affected by buffs and debuffs to attack and defense. Buffs and debuffs that affect the same thing are added together, not multiplied. The buff or debuff that is applied by the common EX skills have the same name as that EX skill. Applying the same buff or debuff will override the existing one. Both Mighty Strikes and Ren Shield give the same effect, plus 100% increased bravery damage, but in slightly different ways. Mighty Strikes is the meta EX skill and has been for a long time. The goal of the game is to deal enough HP damage to incapacitate your opponents before they can do the same to you, so having something that can increase your bravery by this much is very powerful. It allows you to build high amounts of bravery and at the same time, you remove large amounts of bravery from your opponents. While Ren Shield does have a lower cooldown, it also requires you to get close to your opponents and to potentially put yourself at risk. Mighty Strikes is the safer option and is thus arguably better. Using both Mighty Strikes and Ren Shield gives you 3 times the damage. Mighty Guard and Weaken are the opposites of Mighty Strikes and Ren Shield. They decrease the amount of bravery damage taken. There is a scaling applied when damage is reduced past a certain point, so you do not always get the full benefit from them. There are two situations where they can be useful. To minimize the effects of your opponent's Mighty Strikes and Rend Shield, or during the opponent's summon phase where you're not as good at defending yourself. Weaken is the better choice at the moment due to it having a longer duration. The issue with these two is that they only temporarily slow down the bravery buildup. They do not stop the HP damage. HP Regen and Share HP are the only common EX skills that can counteract HP damage. HP Regen does have a long cooldown, but 1000 HP is a lot. When using Share HP, the total net HP of your team does not increase. There is even the possibility of it decreasing if you use it at a bad time. The only character that should use Share HP is Shantoto, as it gives her a way of entering rage at will. Bravery Regen is free bravery, but it is a long cooldown to only get about the same amount as one attack with Mighty Strikes or Rend Shield. It can be potentially useful if you have difficulty landing bravery attacks. Sheer bravery can be useful when using support HP attacks, such as Ishtola's Spiritual Ray, or one of the counter HP attacks, as these can be hard to land, so your bravery is not wasted. Poisonga, Sologa and Bainga are a family of EX skills that after a short startup shoot out a projectile that explodes on hit. These have HP level projectile strength and vanguard level interruption, making them something you have to respect. Their weaknesses are that they have a startup period and that they can be guarded, which will not apply their debuff. Throw them into a crowded area. Poisonga has a short cooldown. It is the fastest of the three and its debuff is a bit annoying to have to deal with. Sologa has the same short cooldown, but it is a bit slower with more tracking. The movement speed debuff can be quite significant as well. Bindga has a longer cooldown and the slowest speed, but it has the best tracking and the longest range. Its debuff is also really good. It restricts all movements, but not attacks, so be careful when approaching. Revivify does the opposite to Sologa, it increases the movement speed. This is useful on the big maps and for slow characters such as Sephiroth. Enfeeble is used to isolate people and to stop them from running away. It can also be used to stop your opponents from chasing, but that is not always reliable if you are too close to them. It works very well to trap people in summon attacks. 
especially Shiva's Diamond Dust finisher. Bravery Conduit and Vacuum also have a startup before their effects take place. Bravery Conduit creates an area that deals non-interrupting bravery damage to all opponents in it. Use it together with Mighty Strikes or Rend Shield to increase the damage done. Since it's not that hard to actually move out of it, you need to think before you throw it out. Though sometimes, you use it because you want them to move. You can also use it as an easy and safe way to break an opponent with low bravery. Bravery Conduit is a very selfish EX skill and should be used by characters with strong HP attacks. Vacuum is another area control skill. It forces your opponents to dash or become easy targets for attacks. Paired with Enfeeble, opponents cannot escape it unless they use specific attacks. You might think that Teleport should be used to move around the battlefield, but it's actually a defensive skill. It is used by marksmen as a way of getting out of pressure as they generally do not have good close range options for that. Perfect defense is often not as good as it might sound. It requires activating beforehand. Also, you are put into a long guard stun when blocking HP attacks, which means that your opponents will often not have much issue chasing you down again. It can be useful sometimes, but teleport will cover the same situations and a few more. Provoke is useful for two situations to stop an opponent from going after your teammate, or to stop an opponent from defending themselves from your teammate. Doom is used to try to force your opponents to target you, or to remove the bravery of someone with high bravery. The issue with the last one is that Mighty Strikes and Ren Shield do that as well, and better. Due to Shiva's popularity, the break state is over in an instant. Both Provoke and Doom have really long cooldowns, and their effects are decent at best. Blindga, not to be confused with Bindga, is more of a slight annoyance than anything. It can make some attacks be a little bit more difficult to see though, but it's rarely worth the long cooldown. Mimic is situational as to when it actually is worth equipping. It also only benefits you. It can only copy buffs from the common EX skills, along with Bard's Good Luck Charm, Sidon's Steel and Mug, and Ramses Galvanize, for some reason. A big part of Vesunaga's and Dispelga's strengths come from their short cooldowns. However, since the metagame is buff-centric, Vesunaga is not really that useful. When using Dispelga, you should always aim to remove HP region. Only buffs and debuffs with a blue or red icon with a duration are affected. Here is a list of all the buffs and debuffs that can be removed. Pause the video now if you want to read it. The important things to note is that no unique EX skill can be removed, along with some character-specific ones, and that Isunaga cannot remove Doom effects. Before equipping Boon or Jinx, you have to ask yourself if being able to extend a buff or debuff by up to 10 seconds is worth the 75 second cooldown. Try to stack as many buffs or debuffs as you can before using them. For buffs and debuffs that change over their duration, such as Cecil's job change, Boon and Jinx freeze them at what they currently are. Only buffs and debuffs with a blue or red duration icon are affected. Here is a list of all the buffs and debuffs that can be extended. Pause the video now if you want to read it. The important parts are that no bind or doom effects can be extended. The meta for the game currently consists of each team having two mighty strikes and two HP regions, with the other two EX skills usually being a combination of rent shield and feeble, teleport or bravery conduit. Mighty Strikes and HP Region are considered the two strongest EX skills in the game, but having more than two of each is not needed as that will end up being wasted uptime versus cooldowns, and other EX skills are useful as well. The standard skill sets are Mighty Strikes and HP Region on the Vanguard, HP Region with Enfeeble or Ren Shield on the Assassin, and Mighty Strikes and Teleport on the Marksman. Specialists will take the Vanguard or Assassin sets depending on the situation. The debuff skills should be on the Assassin, as their mobility allows them to more easily get in range to use them. In cases where you do not have a Marksman, you might want to have someone use a ranged HP attack to fulfill that role, and in such cases, that character might want to equip Bravery Conduit in order to give them an easier way to build Bravery. Of course, the meta is not everything, and there are several skill sets that might be useful or maybe even better in certain situations. Just remember that this is a team game, so pick skills that benefit and synergizes with your team, not just you.